who is someone that's made a big impact on your life this year? Honestly, like um, I'm gonna say my management team. Cool. They they have they have really. Uh, I mean, because you have to understand, like, this is the coolest job in the entire planet. It really is the coolest. But there's a lot of demand, you know, mm -hmm. and like you're you're doing a lot of things. You're going all over the place. So you can imagine there's 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 a lot of trial. Oh with, yeah. with your brain and your mental health and stuff. My team has supported me so much through all that stuff and they definitely keep me sane. Love um, that. So I'm really thankful Need for Need a good team yeah, of people around absolutely. you. So you played a lot of shows. You're a busy yes. guy. What is your favorite show you played this year? Okay, not trying to be a cop out here. Not trying to be a cop out, but, <laughs> but my tour, my headline tour through the smoke tour has been so insane. It's okay. been like every single show has just been getting crazier and crazier as, as, as we've gone. And uh, it just blows my mind that people are willing to spend money to come to my shows, you know, yeah. like hire babysitters, like drive, fly, get hotels, like so many arrangements happen. Um, but it, I just, there's, there's something different about doing your own show. You yeah. know, it, it is so special. So when you know, they're all there just to see you. Yep. That's and a cool feeling. And I'm coming to Toronto soon. Too, oh so. yes, you yeah, are. Yeah, go get your tickets, everybody. Okay. If you could go back in time, Nate Smith and give your younger self a piece of advice, what would that piece of advice be? I'd say start eating good. You know, put the macaroni <laughs> and cheese down now because it's going to be an addiction for you when you're older. Mm. Hot pockets are not nutrition. Um, and they I'm, are not. I'm going to say maybe, maybe do some squats, you little flat butt boy. Okay. <laughs> Something like that. How about that little, little Nate? All right. But you be, you say it to him nicely. I be did. Kind I would to oh, him. be kind to little Nate. <laughs> yeah. Don't, poor little Nate. Yeah. Aww. Don't be mean to little Nate. And Come you're on. Handsome. You're, you're, you're handsome. You're a more handsome version of Macaulay Culkin in Home Alone. Okay. <laughs> Just understand that. Yeah. And you'll be okay, kid. You're going to be great. Okay. I will never forget the video of your mom shotgunning the beer. That is, it is ingrained. Worst shotgunner of all time. It wasn't great. It wasn't, wasn't great. <laughs> it wasn't great. I was a little, honestly, like really disappointed in her. But we um, still love her. We do love her. So if you could give your mom any gift in 2025, what would that be? Oh, that's, I would pay off her house. That would be a great she, gift. She would love that. She would love that. You know, I, I hate my mom ever worrying about anything like that. Yeah. You know? Have you given your mom a gift just yeah. Anything oh yeah. Since. I bought her washer and dryers. Oh, nice. Um, I give her money sometimes and just take different care things. Of mom. Yeah, I take care of my mom. And then anytime she comes to Nashville, I've, I've got all the flights. I've got all the reservations. Everything's taken care You're of. The you best. Know. She's 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 And my then buddy. you peer pressure her to do, you know, uh, shotgunning beers, and then make fun of her for not being able to yeah, do it. Yeah, <laughs> I, I will literally never peer pressure her again to make a fool of herself. Uh, so, yeah. mom, if you're hearing that, <laughs> let's no figure it out. No more of the shotgunning. Just okay. drink beer, I guess. Okay. Hardy is someone you've spent time with in your career yeah. you've spent time shows like i know you guys have crossed paths a ton um what is it about hardy that you think is so special because he really is like such a talent in so many ways i think there's a few things i think you know he's got this like tough exterior he's a rocking guy you yeah know? like he's a, he's a rock star in every way and when you get to know him he's a very humble and sweet hearted person yeah um, for sure. very thoughtful very kind very approachable um and honestly gives me the time of day um and he's somebody that i really look up to a lot and stuff so I'd stay tuned um, for potential collaborations. What? I would stay tuned for something like that. Breaking we'll, news. We'll see, we'll see. I love that. I, I think tuned. that would be great. I'd I'm say a it's fan. potential right now. I'd say it's potential, okay. but it might be a little more potential. I don't know. I don't know. So you have done a lot of really cool collaborations oh. in your career. I have. Yeah. Like, I mean, just Avril Lavigne, casual. Yeah, super casual. Super casual. But Alesso, like going outside of country, is that something you always kind of wanted to do when you started this journey? Um, not necessarily, uh, but like I, I just love dance music. I love EDM. I genuinely love it. It's not like my label came up with this like we got to do a cool remix thing and yeah. then it, it's gonna stream better. There was nothing like that. It's just like hey, guy. I actually sat down with my team. I said one of my goals is I want to do some really cool dance songs. Like I want to be involved in the EDM world and cool. stuff. So this song came to us um, um, from Alesso's team, and we we worked on it together, and it was amazing. It was so fun working with him. He's like such a big deal in the EDM world, but I definitely felt like I got to have a lot of creativity in it as well and everything. So, and it's and it's it's like crushing. Like it's like in NFL and it's in Canadian sports. Oh things. yeah, I've seen it everywhere. It's a jam. It's a if jam. you're at the gym and you need a pump up song to work like out to, turn it on. I also got the tattoo. You I got can, a tattoo. You on did. Me. I, got, I like a tattoo on my arm. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Sure. We are actually going to talk about if Nate Smith was ever to open up a bar in Nashville, what would it be called? Ooh. And what would you have in your bar? It could be Bulletproof Bar. That's, Bulletproof? That's kind of cool. Is it, is it happening right now? I don't is know. Is this the marketing meeting? That would be really good. That'd okay, be really write good. that down, everybody. Bulletproof, um, bar? Bulletproof Bar. I think it'd yeah. be cool, right? Something Absolutely. like that. Um, but yeah, that's what I would call it. Probably. And it'd have an EDM dance floor. It and may. Like a rock and country it's gonna dance floor. It's going to have every, like, like version of my music you yeah. find in there, you know? I love that. Yeah. And then you just pop in randomly and every night. Yeah. Every night. Every I'd be night. There. Every night I'm he performing. lives there. <laughs> I will literally become Chuck E. Cheese. Uh, I, I mean, they'll think it's an animatronic. Like, nope, nope, that's a human. It's really like, neat. That's right. <laughs> that's 
That's amazing. All right, well, invite me to your grand opening. Of you are bar, more than welcome. Because it will happen one day. <laughs> We've actually talked about mental health a yeah, lot in yeah. the past. Um, it's something that I talk about every day on my show. But you have really kind of become such an advocate in music for focusing on your mental health, which I think is so awesome. Wow, thank you. I, and I didn't know I did. You did, awesome. yeah. Hey. And just like speaking about it online publicly is something yeah. that not everybody does. Why is that so important to you? Um, I just want people to know that, like, you know, that that it's it's okay to not be okay. I mean, that's and it's cliche as that sounds and stuff. I think, I think there's something about in, in today's music. It's like something that's challenging is is social media and stuff, but it also allows us um, to to really for the fans to get to know you better and yeah. know who you really are as a person. Um, but it helps me to kind of get it out there and just let people know I'm on this journey. It's it's not easy sometimes, but. Yeah. Um, but mental health is very, very important to me. I take it very serious. You know, I'm in therapy. Like I, I see a therapist. Yep. I saw him twice this week. Um, Sometimes we need it a little more often than other times. Totally. Right. Yeah. And like, I think the big thing for me, um, without taking too much time is just that like, you know, I feel like either we're in the future or we're in the past. A lot of times it's so hard to be present. I'm learning that like meditation and this kind of stuff is about truly being in the moment. Even if you're hearing a, somebody breaking down a box over here, whatever it is, that's all part of this exact moment and everything. Yeah. And I think it's so important that we are able to sit and be because what actually will flourish, what, what fruit will come out of that is uh, gratefulness. Absolutely. Gratefulness will start to just come out of you like a river. It's amazing. Yeah. So, so the Twisters movie, did yes. you watch it? I did. You I did? actually did it in 40X. So Whoa. I did. Like, I got sprayed in the face with water, and the <laughs> fans are hitting me, and I'm what? getting motion sickness and puking my guts out in my, pop my popcorn bowl. Um, but I had a great time. <laughs> great, great like cinema. It. Great cinema. I didn't actually puke in my popcorn. Oh my bowl. god! Thank goodness. I was I like, swallowed it. I swallowed okay, it, of course. okay. I'm just where did the, where did you do this? <laughs> Too far. <laughs> uh, here in Nashville, I went and saw it. Yeah. That's a real thing. Like, 40x. Yeah. Oh yeah. What? You've never done it? No. It. You're completely immersed in the movie. It's like. This. Like oh, you're you moving move. around. You move your your seat moves left and right and back and forth and jerks around. Had you done this before? No. You thought Twisters was the one to do that with? Yeah. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> let's try. Let's try getting inside of a tornado. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that terrifies me to my yep. core. Do you have Nate Smith a favorite New Year's Eve memory? A favorite New Year's Eve memory? Yes. I remember. This is gonna date me. That's okay. Okay. Yep. Uh, I'm I'm not <laughs> 20 years old. Okay. Me neither. Um, I am uh, 39. Okay. By the way, you're uh, young still. Don't I mean, I don't know. Come on. My body Hold on to your only. Way. Okay, I was gonna say you're only as young, old as you feel. But I mean, every time I stand up, I hear just like, so many cracks. Cracks. Me I'm too. Like, what is going on? I know. Uh, I've got a bad back. All these crazy things. We've talked about that. Before. Yep, we have. Um, we both do. <laughs> favorite New Year's memory. Uh, you know, every New Year's, my mom would get chicken and a biscuit crackers. Oh, I don't know if they have those in Canada. I don't think so. And they do canned cheese whiz. I, we have that. <laughs> I don't put the cheese whiz on my crackers. No. I just spray it in your no, mouth? No, give me a regular slice of Tillamook cheese or something like that. I'm not going to spray the whiz in my mouth, okay? <laughs> it ain't going on my chicken and a biscuit. They taste fine as is, okay? <laughs> um, but I was there during the Y2K thing. Yeah. And, and uh, I look at you as if you know what that is. But, <laughs> I know what um, it is, but yeah. We thought the world was going to end, yeah. and it didn't end. It didn't. And we're we here. lived, and we were like, <gasps> like I was, I was literally praying the whole time, like, uh. For That's all my scary. sins, everything. I'm like, I'm a bad, bad kid. I cussed at my neighbor. <laughs> I shot a window out with a Red Rider BB gun. I still want one for Christmas, um, but still. <laughs> you never got one? I, I did get one, okay, good. but I want another one. You want another one? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I know what I'm getting you for Christmas. Red Rider BB gun? Yep. Really? I'm, That's. I'm going to get it, just because now you said it. <laughs> you better watch out. <laughs> with extra BBs? <laughs> extra BBs. Oh. <Aww. laughs> Thanks. Okay, but we know you tried out... What is it, 40X? What is it, the movie theater? Yeah, yep, I tried the 40X, okay. uh, all immersive experience. Uh, what is something else new that you tried this year in 2024? New? <laughs> I, don't, I don't do a lot of change. You know, I don't handle change well. I just, I'm kind of like, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm old. Good. I'm not jumping out of a plane. No. You know, I'm not. I'm, I'm never going to do that. Me neither. I want to believe that I could, though. Steven keeps trying to say to me, like, oh, we should try never. it. I'm like, we are never, never trying it. Never. No. Um, you're you're going to think is this is <laughs> crazy. This is, this is a big deal for me, so I don't know how it is for other people, but I'm going to attempt to to eat vegetables um <laughs> it, it's really tough for it's, the first time ever have you seen that video of that that husband and wife and all she eats is cheesy potatoes and one day he puts a little green on her plate she's like <laughs> that's you that's literally me oh. and i'm not trying to be that person but i'm I have a, a, a actual phobia of vegetables i feel like i should cook for you mm. because i'm really i cook vegetables where they taste they don't taste like vegetables what do they taste like just good seasoning okay yeah if there's hope i mean okay there's hope you, you can find some wash yeah. Spaghetti squash is a real vegetable. It's a vegetable. I mean, it's it ain't a, a carrot. It's not a carrot. It ain't but celery. It, but it's it ain't broccoli. Also or, not a pizza. You know what else I won't eat? <laughs> Brussels sprouts can suck it. Oh. I, why do people like these things? <laughs> they smell like 
I can't say ass on here, but they well, smell. You did. <laughs> they smell. They smell bad. They when smell they walk bad. By. They do. But, but everybody they, loves them. Everyone. I, you probably love I them. I do. I could tell. You defended it right I there. Did. Your body language like, is like, why are you talking about my Brussels sprouts? I was like, don't like you that. talk about my Brussels sprouts? Okay, like don't that. you talk about my Brussels sprouts? So I don't know if you're. A, I feel like you're a goal setter. Are you like a? Do you do resolutions? Yeah. yeah? yeah okay. I do a little bit of that. So I do reflections. You know. Yeah. Reflect reflections. All right. What are we gonna set? What goal are we gonna set for ourselves this year, other than eating more vegetables? All right. Let's see here. I want to lose even more weight. I've lost some. I've lost like probably 30, 40 great. pounds. I feel great. Yeah, I feel great. good. That's important. I'm down to a 33 waist uh, in, my, in my Levi's from a 38. So we're, we're, we're getting yeah. there. We're getting there. I'm an XL t-shirt right progress. now. Progress. You know, um, so there's progress there. I want to become more present, even more present. Um, and, and just like just stay in that gratefulness place because yeah. I, I just I get so stressed out sometimes. I get frustrated. And, and things like I'm, I'm a happy guy, but I, I have I'm a normal person. I get frustrated with things and impatient. And We're like, human. It happens. Don't act in love and like all these things. So I want to work on that stuff. And then from a music standpoint, um, I want to put out even more honest music. I want I want music that's just so real. I'm even thinking about scaling it back and, and getting it to a place where it's just really more raw, even more raw than it's ever been. I love big production and stuff like that. But I think I want people to know like like this is where it all started. Maybe yeah. You know. So I'm I'm kind of leaning into that world a little cool. bit. Cool. Yeah. I, yeah, because I remember like first discovering you when you were posting on TikTok was just you and your acoustic yeah, guitar. Yeah. I think it's it I think it's time to get back to that um you know and and see what happens. And then also run out on stage in leopard print shorts and Crocs and just rock it out. It's funny you bring that up. <laughs> <clears throat> Why? I don't know. <laughs> I really like that version of you. Oh, trust me too. Okay. Um, I'll, tell you, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you in a minute. Okay. 